a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. <laughs> My name is April Rogalski. I'm in outside sales for a software and hardware company. I love doing outdoor activities, I like rock climbing, I've liked it since high school. To me, the ideal guy is someone who is motivated, a very good business person. It's definitely, I think, a bigger risk to fall in love than it is to climb a big rock wall or do something scary that's physically challenging. A limited. <laughs> Seattle's beautiful, especially when the sun's out, so I think it'll be awesome. So we're gonna start out the morning for coffee because I can't start my day unless I have caffeine. First impressions are really important because I think in the first 30 seconds you kind of have a snapshot of what you think the person's gonna be. It really takes a lot to dig yourself out of the hole if you make a bad first impression. I like to do something different like all the time. I'm always up for a good time. I'm looking forward to this eliminate. Just go out and meet a gorgeous girl. My name's Joey. I have a painting business here in Seattle. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. Joey. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. I came around the corner and first saw April. I thought she was really cute. Like totally like my type. I'm passionate about a lot of different things. I like to draw from each thing to fuel my passion for life. My name's Christopher, I'm a sailboat captain. How's it going? Hi. Good. Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. Nice to meet you as well. I like them from, from the start. I'll shake them down to the foundation. Every fiber of their existence will quiver in my presence. I can guarantee that. My name is Quinn Tino Valenzuela and I am self-employed. Oh my God. Even more beautiful than I thought. You uh, <laughs> use a little work, but I, I hope you hit me. <laughs> oh, be coy. Actually, these are these are for you. I was just oh. kidding. I thought he was cute too, though. Thank you. What is it? It's donuts for donuts? your coffee. Oh, yes, ma'am. What a guy. The donuts were nice and thoughtful. I need breakfast, but um, he should have said hi to me first. Originally, I was going to come into this game strong, but unfortunately, last night, I twisted my ankle while running on the grass. But I'm going to use it, and I'm still going to win this game. My name is Mike Hoff, and uh, currently I'm a computer systems engineer, but my true passion is music. Hi. Hello. Hi. Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim, huh? Uh, that, Mike Hoff, actually. <laughs> I twisted you. my ankle last night. I'm not a permanent cripple. Oh, but... that's good to know. <laughs> I thought April was beautiful. He's unbelievably good looking. He's nice looking. He's like the all-American kind of kind of guy. Well, we're gonna go get um, coffee. I have to uh, have a coffee before I can start my day, so I hope that's okay with all of you. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, <laughs> hopefully they like coffee, and if they don't, they're eliminated. Non-fat vanilla latte, please. Hot chocolate. Just get a lemon snapple. A peach tea, please. Can I get an iced soy mocha with mint, please? There you go. So hold on to those. <laughs> was really bizarre. Of all things to give someone donuts? Is that, is that the right thing to do? Here, I want you to gain at least 30 pounds. What do you do? I used to be a computer systems engineer, but I just got laid off. Now I'm a singer. Singer? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it was a good idea for Mike to tell us that he's unemployed. If you're trying to make an impression, you don't say, yeah. Hey, I, yeah, I don't have a job. I've got nothing going. Do you really sing? Yeah. You do? Sing for us. So yeah. sing. You do something to me. I was kind of worried when Mike started singing. I thought things were going to start shattering. He actually had a good voice, so I was impressed. That took that took some guts. What do you do? <laughs> I'm in sales. Sales? What do you sell? Technology, software and hardware. Do you go like door to door? No, no. Not a door to door sales for girl. you. Nothing like that? They usually have like Yeah, I, I try to, accounts. you know, houses are so big, they're very technical and whatnot. I couldn't care less. No, actually, I think it's great. I do care. No, it's pretty bad to rank on it than just say that you don't even really care, so. If he wants to put his foot in his mouth, that's his deal. I was thinking um, for the day, it's kind of nice, beautiful day, so we're going to go wakeboarding. Yay! <laughs> I know you guys probably don't have stuff to wear, so we're going to go shopping. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. So we left the coffee shop and then we walked down to the bikini store. I was looking for the guy that was going to pick out something cute and practical. So what, what, what is the size? Just, How do we do this? Um, small and small. I've small never small. ever <laughs> been in a bathing suit store to buy a girl a bathing suit. It's fun. I had a good time. That's a sarong. It's a I scarf, you silly it. girl. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go try these on. Yeah. I'll let you know if I need any help. Really thirsty. Oh, 
God. <laughs> Let me get my water real quick. Oh my God, are you kidding me right now? Yeah, I'm kidding. That was a very low blow by Quinn when he threw the water bottle underneath just to cop a look. I was wondering if I was in junior high or what was going on here exactly. I was trying to have fun. I wasn't trying to get a peek. Okay, so I don't know whose suit this is. Yes! <laughs> That's my suit. Is it yours? <laughs> I, yeah, I like that suit because it accentuates the hair in, my, in your eyes. You wear Suits anchor. normally accentuate your uh, your hair and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. April looked fantastic in mine. April would look pretty much good in anything. She could wear a garbage bag to the beach and get away with it. Uh, what do you guys that's think? That's mine. That looks pretty cute. I know it'll help though. Get a little flower in your ear, maybe. <laughs> Stand. She really liked the flower. All the other three of us were kind of like, man, I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> this is the blue oh, one. <laughs> very nice. You're such a beach fun Barbie right now. That's what it is. Hold this. I don't want to deal with the ball. Right <laughs> <now. laughs> Alright, let's go. I think uh, Quinn's strategy in the bikini shop was just act like an idiot. He said, I'm going to dress you up like a Barbie doll. It shows possession and it doesn't show relationship. Okay, so this black one piece was a really good idea. But it was too big. Oh. Uh oh. Was that uh, Chris's choice? Yeah, oh, Chris. Don't give such a tiny girl such a big swimsuit. They take it to heart. He wasn't listening to her when she said she was a small. Definitely. Good, really good. good for wakeboarding, I'd say. Yeah. So whose was that? Mine. Oh, you did. <laughs> as far as uh, I can tell, they they failed the test because I had to pick out my own swimsuit. Alright, so now you guys go pick out yours. <laughs> I had them pick out a pair of shorts to put on for themselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Are those girls' shorts? No. What are you guys looking at? I'm blind. What are you guys, uh, what is your thing? Whatever you can help there. You were like Eric you're Estrada. still wearing that? Yeah. Quinn looks just like Poncharelli. Eric Estrada, to the T. Might have weirded some people out, but I had a good time. Oh, aren't you going to take your shirt off? Would you like it? <laughs> Well, I had to take mine off. Or do you wake for a new t-shirt? No, I don't wake for it. Whoa, tattoos and all. The goatee now. thing and then all the tattoos and the piercing kind of threw me for a loop. So it's up with the robe. The robe? I don't know. He's going to be cool. Can I ask you something? Is he cool? <laughs> he just didn't want to take off his robe because he's kind of kind of furry. Are you gonna take that sweater off when we go wakeboarding? <laughs> are you gonna keep it on? Cause like, that's weird, man. You, you got a razor, I'll take care of it for just for you, man. Quinn did make a comment about my hairy chest, but frankly, I don't think that's gonna hurt me. I mean, it looked like a nice little sleeveless cardigan, and then I looked closer and I realized that's, that's his body hair. I hate yes. these shorts. <laughs> hey, you don't get to cover up, none yeah, of us come are. Come on, it up. Come on, Fabio, you wanted to wear them. <laughs> All right, you asked for it. You wanted to wear them, now you flaunt it. They didn't let me get normal man shorts, and I'm gonna have to wear these little, little, tiny, wee fairy shorts for the rest of a, the date, maybe. Maybe the rest of my life. Coming up, who will April cut first? I think Chris may go, because he seems a little bit cynical about the whole thing. I think Quinn's gonna get the ax in this round. I think April's gonna either eliminate uh, one of the two clowns, either uh, Frank Sinatra or Poncherella over there. Mike's really wonky. He's like some sort of Easter Seal spokes child, you know, and I think, um, April's gonna make her decision and he's gonna have to march a dimes his butt out of here. Eliminate. <laughs> Who do you think April will eliminate first? Joey, Chris, Quinn, or Mike? Okay, so I have to cut someone. And I had a really good time, but um, someone has to go. What I was thinking is that because your ankle is so puffy and swollen and we're gonna wakeboard, you're not gonna be able to board. <laughs> I thought we had something. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are loving this, aren't you? <laughs> yes. I feel bad because I thought I had a connection with her, with April, but them's the breaks. I cut Mike because I was worried about his ankle, kind of concerned with him wakeboarding, and also he had a furry chest. He was a nice guy, but they're all going. April cut Mike because of his ankle was a nice way of kind of getting rid of him. I think it was pretty much the singing bit that kind of lost it for him. Oh, you ramble. Till the butcher cut him down. So we went wakeboarding on Lake Washington and it's gorgeous. It was definitely looking for spontaneity, sense of humor, if they could 
kind of go and laugh at themselves. Who wakeboards? Do you wakeboard? A little bit. I've only gone once or twice. Really? That's yeah, a bit I just I'm learned. About. <laughs> Do you guys think he's quiet? Who, man? Joey. I think he's kind of quiet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about no. Joey doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I will. So, I'll, I'll if pick it him was, up. Best way I could impersonate Joey would be to kind of, I mean, was, I mean, if we could, it's a nice warm. This is like weird. I feel like I want to talk seriously, then I look at these shorts and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the idiot. I'm like the village idiot. Yeah, I'm like the village idiot. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Who picked him up? <laughs> Have any of you guys ever dressed up like a girl? Halloween? Nope, not Halloween. <laughs> just to I be know. goofy. Yeah, bye. I uh, pretty much wouldn't do it. Joey backpedaled a lot about the whole wearing a dress. More or less to hide his feelings for me. I think he's trying to act like he doesn't want me as much as he does. What's the worst, the worst thing you've ever done? Worst thing ever done? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I have a few. You know, it's all blur. <laughs> Those guys were blurry. <laughs> so I did a lot of things. Go all real drunk while I walk. I did them while walk, walk, walk. Can I go first? Because I haven't done it and I don't want any tough acts to follow. I just want to get it out of the way. Now, is that okay? A... It's okay, man. Go for it. Quinn totally surprised me. He was awesome. He wanted to go first, which I thought was really brave. I didn't want to wait around and watch everybody else do it and then find out in the end I couldn't do it. So bad. Tried it again. Did it. You know what? This is it, man. Third, third time's a charm. I got up. I was happy, and when I, I was pretty excited about it. It was so fun. I can't believe you got up. <laughs> Who wants to go next? He really kind of eased back. He was a lot nicer than he was in the morning. I was pretty stoked when I was, you know, a little bit better than the other guys riding, so I think that might have helped me out a little edge, you know. If Joey has more going for him, than uh, just his looks. He's not showing it yet. Nice job. Thanks, dude. I wasn't looking for a great wakeboard. I was just more looking for good attitude. <laughs> I hope they do. Woo! He did this beautiful, like, Mary Lou Retton, like, <laughs> Nadia Comaneci entry into the water. It didn't irritate me that Quinn was calling me uh, Nadia Comaneci. I thought the flip was uh, appropriate and well executed. <laughs> See it falling hard, wakeboarding and women. He tried to show off, but he was bad. <laughs> she did great. It was only her second time, and she was kicking ass. We can slide that board over. Here, I'll come get it. <laughs> Joey uh, jumped off the boat to uh, help April. Didn't look like she needed any help. That was surprising, because he's been pretty quiet. That was a really nice gesture, man. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Really like that. It's noble. It's like oh, you're just jealous you didn't think of it yourself? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who will April cut next? I think April's going to give Quinn the axe in this round. Quinn make it far enough uh, with his efforts, or is Joey just getting tired? I think I'm a strong candidate for elimination right now. <laughs> Who is April going to eliminate next? Chris, Joey, Quinn. So I have to cut somebody again. You guys were all awesome. It was good to go wakeboarding. Quinn, you totally had like the biggest attitude adjustment, but you just threw me for a loop in round one. And I can't get over like the first impression. Oh. So. <laughs>
<laughs> this is a big chance for love. <laughs> she didn't have my sense of humor and she just seemed like a, a little too plastic. He did try a little bit harder this round, but first impressions count. Quinn, next time you just gotta act your age, man. You can't be doing that stuff on a date. I think she did me a favor. I had a good time today, but I'm ready to pack in. The next round, I just want to go have a few drinks and go have fun. We're just going to get to know each other a little bit better. You look insane. Hi. Can I have a hug, please? Yeah. None of us saw each other until we actually like met in the bar. Oh, hi. Thank you. When I saw April walk through the door tonight, I was impressed. I was floored even. Cowboy hat was a bad idea just because we aren't in Kansas anymore, Toto. So your last girlfriend should have warned you about wearing that sort of stuff out. To this, to you. And somehow the conversation no. went off to how many people they've been with and girlfriends. I'll tell you what, I have felt close to a few other people. A few, huh? Hmm, a few. What's a few? What, what do you want to, uh, that technically, could be a lot. I don't feel it's appropriate to give specific numbers. Actually, I haven't met the perfect girl yet, to be honest with you. So. So are you a virgin? Is that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do we have to air this stuff or what? I was shocked. It was pretty easy to tell April that I hadn't slept around. More power to you, Joey. I waited this long. I, I'm not going to like get drunk and hook up with some drunk girl you know, that I meet at the bar. It's like, I want a good girl, you know? Yeah. He doesn't come across as the type of guy that would be waiting around just to find the perfect girl. She knows like, a little cleaner than Chris, maybe. Do you guys want to play foosball? I'd love to. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Whoever scores gets to ask the other person a question. I wanted to see how witty and smart they were and kind of, you know, if they would be competitive with each other. Oh, I just scored though, I just scored. I could ask a question now, right? To him. Oh, to him? Yeah. <laughs> I'll ask you. Let's hear how many girlfriends you have. How many girlfriends I have? Yeah. I would have to say three. A lot of the questions Joey has, we kind of covered. He's probably been with a lot more and he's pretty uh, embarrassed about it. That, block. that was good. Okay. Well, that was close. Would you give me a drink? Would I get you a drink? Yeah. What do you want? Jack and Coke. I realized that I wasn't going to get hit with any deep philosophical questions that were going to be revealing about myself. So I decided to send Joey away. I was like, kind of worried about leaving her alone with him. Yeah, I like you. I like you a lot. I think you're really smart. I think you're really intelligent. And you're definitely somebody I'd like to get to know. I'd like to hang out with. I felt that it needed to be said. So I did it. The cowboy hat thing was kind of hurting him a little bit, so I wasn't too worried. It's kicking ass. So does that mean, uh, what happens when you score on yourself? <laughs> when you score on yourself, you go to sleep with a smile. <laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> what does that mean? April, that we have question. a lot of growing and learning to do together. Will it be Chris or Joey? April's final cut is next. A limited day. <laughs> Really good time with both of you guys. Thank you very much. You guys were good sports. You both went wakeboarding, did everything I wanted to do. I have to cut somebody. I hate this. Here we go again. Um, I guess, um, Chris, I don't know for a first date, it's kind of intense when you tell the girl that you really like her and you really want to talk to her and you really want to hang out and be with her and stuff. And I just feel like it was, it was kind of heavy for a first date. And um, I guess I'm going to pick Joey. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I think I probably did come off a little intense. That's the way I thought it was supposed to go. I don't know. It just felt like it was too cheesy. It was way too intense. The first date, have fun, get to know me. But I rode it, the wave in. Time to paddle back out and go get another one. Like Thank that. you for picking me. <laughs> like you're awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Even though I didn't talk all day, you know. That's okay. You